Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today we are in the data center again, and that's because the discs for my HP uh, replacing disc things has finally arrived. 10 days since I did the last video, maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure, but they arrived yesterday and today I'm gonna be replacing them, some of them. But something has happened in the meanwhile, so let's go into the data center. So here are the servers and I replaced there are two discs for the operating system these two and uh, the one with the green markers are the ones that I have replaced uh, one of the discs in so that that one is good down here <coughs> we have number 29 over here and number 29 has failed because both of the operating discs has failed so uh, sucks I'm gonna try and restart this, just turn it off, there, and uh, maybe we should go and unplug power to it and turn it on again. I don't think this is gonna work, but it's worth a shot. Um, so number 29 is right now disconnected. Um, yeah, we're just gonna give it five seconds and we're gonna plug in power again. That's about five seconds. We'll go turn it on. I don't think it's gonna recover, but well, there's a slim, dumb chance. Oh, I'm handheld today because I was too lazy to bring the tripod. Sorry about that. So, I'm gonna push that back in. There we are. So let's go. Let's go see the discs that has arrived. So I received ten discs here. And these are actually 3.5 inches discs, so I won't have to do as much tingling with those. Um, the server had failed over here, it was red, now it's yellow. It's probably gonna be red again, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna undress these discs. <laughs> what we have oh uh, they sent me a 40 god damn <sighs> that's the that's the drives that has been failing from one end to the other and it does have some new firmware on it so, well it has the firmware HPG 3 so, there. Damn, they promised to send some other drives. This was not the ones that I was hoping for. And the server has failed again over here. So we are gonna have to reinstall that server because the O, because the operating system crashed because both of the disks just gave up. Put this server into maintenance mode. So we are gonna go to the ILO adapter of the server here. And we are gonna go over system information. Oh, that's not it. It's remote support service event. Uh, we can set maintenance mode here, and we're gonna set it for four hours and apply. So now it shouldn't be complaining to HP whatever I do, um, and sending other service requests. So let's go and uh, replace the discs. So here both of the discs are just complaining. So um, it has totally fucked the operating system. So and it's the same disc, although this firmware is the HPG1, but we have firmware updated them to HPG2. Um, yeah, and this is HPG3. So yeah, nothing but trouble with this. Crap. 
all the time. There. Let's go see what the computer sees. That one is happy again. Okay, let's see system information, storage, and it's probably gonna be complaining somewhere. Yeah, there. Logical drive one has failed, uh, but now both of the drives are good. But yeah, operating system is gone on those. As if I didn't have enough to do. So we have from number 24 to number 28 now. Number 29 was the one we just replaced both drives because they were had failed. Uh, the other five servers here are still okay. Number 28 has two bad disks or two uh, disks that are potential for failure. So I need to replace first one of them and then the other one. Uh, the first four servers has already had one of their drives replaced. I did that in previous video. Uh, so I just need to replace one in each of those. So right now I put number 28 into maintenance and number 24 into maintenance. And I'll go out and replace um, one of the drives in number 28 and the second drive in number 24. Okay, so now number 24 is rebuilding here and number 28 is rebuilding. Number 29 is still sad because I'm not going to be reinstalling the operating system on that today. Uh, so I need to take uh, get a hold of number 25 and number 26 and get those started. Let's just say number C number 24 here. Let's get some system information, some storage there uh, let's go down a bit there it's a uh, rebuilding so that is okay that's awesome working on it at least yikes this doesn't look good all of them are yellow and one of them are red I guess it's okay because I have um, I have replaced one dr in each of them because they are rebuilding at least one drive in each of them and the bottom one, well, that just hasn't been configured yet. So uh, I am gonna be waiting because number 28 there, uh, that needs, when that becomes green, and that was the first one I did, I think uh, one of the first one I did, uh, the other drive also has to be replaced. So I'm gonna wait for that one to get green, though, which means that it has uh, rebuilt the drives. So I can then replace the other drive and have that rebuild again. Okay, it doesn't have to be unpleasant to uh, wait for drives rebuilding. And now drive number 28 down here has rebuilt and number 24 has rebuilt as well. Then number 24, we're not gonna mess anymore with that. That's done. 28, we need to unwrap another drive and go in there and install that. Oh, damn. Okay, somebody has to do it. Sure that number 28 is perfectly okay. So storage, green all the way, and green down there. Okay, so I have unwrapped the drive and I'm gonna go and replace it. So the only one missing is that one. Everything else has green markers. So. Number 28, that one. Last drive to be replaced, although I do not enjoy putting in these 4600, even though they have new firmware. I would much rather have put in the 5100 drive, which has not failed yet. So, and we have a green marker there. So, now all the operating system drives has been replaced. Oh, and I can see the one, two, three first server has turned green now. So they're done rebuilding. Awesome. So now number 27 and number 28 are the only yellow ones. They are rebuilding. I'm guessing that number 27 will be green in not too long and number 28 a little bit longer and number 29 when we um, go in and fix that okay 
now we are all green again except number 29 and that's not gonna become green today i must admit i'm getting really tired of hardware vendors um sending the problem on to the consumer or the well it professionals um delivering us hardware that doesn't work um well you need to firmware update it no you deliver something that wasn't working how can it be my problem to firmware update their products when they are not working it's it's pissing me off if um if i if I call, if I had a Mercedes, an expensive car, right? And I call in and the brakes wasn't working um, and they sent me a couple of new brakes uh, and told me that uh, install these new brakes but remember to drill the air holes in them. Are you crazy? But that's what we see with hardware like this. Um, HP sent me some drives and in the letter there was an explanation of how to firmware update the new replacement drives okay do i have to fix the replacement parts before i install them really it really bothers me that i have to be pissed at hp all the time because i much rather show awesome stuff on my channel so yeah please give this video a like um if you dislike what you saw give it a like I know that's confusing, but well, it helps. And, and thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.